Hey there, Clashers, it is your host, Galadon. Thank you for stopping by Clash of Clans Attacks, where I respond to the viewer comments, and for some strange reason, you guys have been asking for more witches, and not just go wee-wee, golems and wizards and witches, you guys want all witches. So I went out, trained up a few armies of 22 witches, and brought them out into the battlefield, and we are about to see the results. So not being able to choose my army, I at least wanted to choose the bases that I was attacking. Was definitely looking for some ones with two single targeting infernos like you see here. Dropping just a couple of witches at first, you can see I activated a big bomb there. The witches activating the clan castle as well. Wall breakers getting that wall open. Lightning spell taking out most of the clan castle troops, but a few very dangerous wizards are left behind. So I went ahead and dropped in. Oh, another big bomb. Luckily it just misses all of my witches as they went down. I've got the a rage spell in there, everybody moving in, the jump spell kind of creating that path to the town hall, but the king is taking that path with the queen and all of my witches. They are going off to the right hand side here, not a good sign, not what I had hoped to see. And uh, so they're wandering off around to the right, the king up there in the middle of all that giant mess, just getting demolished by all of those defenses. And so I drop the rage spell down here, hoping the queen and the witches will use it. We can try to save one star, and then the queen, she wanders off, she's gonna go take out the defense archer queen she does and then she turns back okay she's back to the rage pal nope she turns around again she's wandered back to the center she's going to commit suicide against all of those defenses there uh, a desperate free spell does not do anything and uh, the queen is down and then right here you see the witches are just getting demolished by a firing squad of expos and there goes 31 trophies but we've got the Galafail out of our system. Those who wanted to see it got their wish. I'm not giving up yet. I know I can do better. Now, I've chosen a base here that has two multi-targeting Infernos, but the splash damage is kind of off-center. You see all the wizard towers towards the bottom of your screen. So I'm coming from the top left, again, testing the area with those witches, trying to make sure I get rid of any big bombs in the area. And now I've got the clan castle, and there's wall breakers in there. We're going to get through that outer wall. We're not going to get through that outer wall. It does not quite work work out so that is unfortunate so now I'm going to adjust on the fly and I'm gonna drop the jump spell on the outer wall instead so that is at least gonna get me over the first two walls I drop everybody in at once king queen all of the witches move in there hopefully no big bombs are gonna wipe them all out together the first freeze spell on that inferno tower everybody's starting to move in now and uh, we're just trying to hope that we can get in towards that uh, town hall we've frozen the inferno again now that's it no more freeze spells. so now we could be in trouble Lightning spell takes care of most of the clan castle troops. The king and the queen kind of split up. Queen at the top right, but she's got a huge army of skeletons with her. The king at the bottom left, also protected by a bunch of skeletons. He is going down quickly, and he goes down so fast that he has already gone. The queen, though, has moved in, and she's headed towards the town hall. Now, she's protected by all of those uh, skeletons there, so she is finally going to target the town hall. And there she goes to work on the town hall. 40% damage. Looks like the town hall is going to go down successfully. The skeletons and witches continuing to work. There is the town hall. We save one star, but unfortunately that is about all we are going to get. We just don't have enough troops left. The queen with her royal cloak does last a little bit longer, uh, manages to take out maybe one more structure, but she is going to fall victim to all of the splash damage that we have moved in towards. And now just a couple of lowly witches, 48% for a moment. It looks like we might get the second star. But it is just not to be. They're encroaching on that splash damage, that expo off to the lower left there. Just too much, and I am stopped at 48%. But at least it was a victory, although one star with 22 wishes. But, of course, I was not done yet. We've got to try again, and this time I found a pretty well-upgraded base, but two single-targeting Infernos and a, an opening in the wall there, which very obviously had to be a big bomb. So I very carefully dropped a couple of witches. Sure enough, there goes the big bomb. Got that out of the way. There's a Tesla there as well. So now once that big bomb is gone, we drop a whole bunch of witches down there. The king and the queen, we know that they're going to move in towards that opening there. So we drop the rage spell. Everybody is moving in towards the center there. We've got the perfectly placed jump spell freezing those uh, units as they're moving in, the expo and the mortar as well. And again, the inferno is not really an issue this time because they're single targeting so many skeletons that we know we're getting in there. This time we actually remember to hit the Barbarian King's Iron Fist and he gets in there, works on the town hall, almost gets the town hall out of the way before he disappears. The queen helps to finish it off and now the queen at full health and look at the bottom left of your screen. It is a virtual tsunami of skeletons and witches on the left hand side just moving through 
through all of these structures. You can see the way the witches actually surround that wizard tower, works out really well, gets the wizard tower out of the way, and now there's no more splash damage down there. So even though we're only at 40-41% and the queen has gone down, it is looking good because we're not going to get all of those skeletons and witches destroyed really quickly by a mortar or a wizard tower. So we've got a lot more structures that are vulnerable out here. We've got a big group of skeletons taking out those gold mines. They're going to go to that dark barracks. That is going to put us at 47, 49%. And there we go. The last barracks goes down. Second star, 50%. 22 witches do the job and uh, that is quite the relief and actually kind of a surprise did not expect that 22 witches could earn a two-star victory against a pretty well upgraded base like this uh, would I try it again likely not was it economically viable absolutely not but it was a lot of fun so I thank you guys for those suggestions please do keep them coming while you check out my other episodes like comment subscribe for daily Clash of Clans content and I will see you guys again tomorrow with more full attacks Gallidon, all witches is easy. Try something hard, like all golems. <laughs>